If I wasn't an actress, I'd be. Fucking backup dancer? <laughs> <laughs> For real? <laughs> Oh, fucking whoever, group. Nikki, Rihanna. <laughs> all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you inside the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most, Finding Nemo, AKA Nemo Host. And today, I have a very, very special guest. Have a look. <laughs> it's Kathy Bates. How you doing, love? Good. Thanks for having me on your show. I can't believe I'm here. I'm so stoked. Thank you. Wait. Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. wait, wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a second. <laughs> wait for Mike Tyson would love to bring you on stage. Come on the stage. <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's Lena Wee. Miss Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> That's right. Got it. Only you could say the name. How like are you, that. Chloe? I'm good. How are you? I'm awesome. Jenny Slate. Cool. Hey, Jenny. Hi. How are you? I'm doing really well. Young MA uh, in yeah. the motherfucking hells. What so, it do? So Can we snow? toast to the boogie? Let's, let's, let's start it. this off the right way. I heard you know how to play the guitar. Well, I knew how to play the guitar. Knew and know. What's the difference? Well, I, when I was young, I did it. No, it's been years and years and years, but I, I learned how to play again for the show. Go grab one of my guitars out of my studio. No. <laughs> I'll kill the first person that moves. Don't do that. They, they did all froze now. They didn't went back to misery on your ass. Motherfuckers like, I'm not getting it. You get it. Okay, I have a gift for you, Snoop. This is the DVD of Time Traveling Bong and a treat. A that, DVD? Yeah. If you still watch DVDs, I, I love hope you DVDs. do. DVDs. Cool, yeah. great. And then um, it's a treat, What's a that? weed cookie that will. Um, There's a cookie in there for me. Yeah, and it'll. I think they go together well, the cookie and the DVD. So I should watch the DVD while having a munch of this cookie with a small glass of milk. Yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on the Emmy. Thank you, man. Now, Thank how you. did that feel winning the Emmy? <sighs> man, it felt like I was a superhero. Straight up. Like, I was, uh, here's the deal, when Oprah moves her purse to stand up. What? And, and applaud She did you, this? She was like. <laughs> 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 she did. And she I moved to, it? She moved it. She was like, mm, hold on, first black. Uh -uh. <laughs> Tip that, right? You, you hear me? Get over there. Let me yeah. first black anything, I got to stand up. You graduated from Milton Academy? Yes. As the valedictorian? Mm-hmm. I played a valedictorian in a movie once. You did? Yes, in my movie High School. Did you like it? I loved it. I had a great speech at the end, and it was, it was dope. Yeah. What, how long did it take you to put your speech together? I do not remember you at don't? all. And I think I wrote it really last minute. Like spontaneous, more or less. God, every time I've had to give like an important thing, like, uh, <laughs> like the valedictory address or like <laughs> my wedding vows. It's always like the morning of, because that's when you say the most true things, I think it's like right, right when it's happening. Yeah, right now, spontaneous, because it's like it's an audible. It just feels good, so you're going to say it. Do you realize that you have a hip hop song that will go down in history? Yeah. You realize yeah. that? Yeah. Like, you know how like it's certain songs, it's like when you was a kid and the motherfuckers still be banging. Yeah. Like, that shit, that's my shit. Yeah. That's what you Yeah, got. and I just thought about that. It's crazy you said that. I just thought about that like uh, the other week. I was like, yo, this song right here is is forever. It's that thing. It's one of those where, where your kids, kids be like, yo. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, what they gonna know you for. You ever, no matter, no matter, no matter what. how old you get, no they're gonna be like, oh, uh -huh. you can uh -huh. do 100,000 songs, but that thing gonna always. That thing always be the biggest, it's I know. The, you never get a second chance to make your first impression. Right. Another role that I loved you in. Bobby Boucher. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking water boy. Man, I, come on, man. Foosball. Mama didn't like that foosball. Uh -uh. Foosball is the devil. I'm not surrounded by yes men. Mm -mm. It's my family who don't care to say you look like a fool or you're acting like an idiot and whatever. And we don't believe our own hype and that's, I think, the blessing of having your sisters on this journey with you. That's that tough love. Sometimes yeah, but you it's needed. need that. Mm -hmm. you, ne you need to get, like, the wind knocked out of you sometimes. Yeah. And told the truth when everybody else is telling you a right. lie. And yeah. there's a ton of times that, like, you know, I've told my sister the truth and she didn't, like, when she 
wanted to marry Chris Humphreys. I was like, he's a fucking loser. Why mm. are you marrying this fucking dog? Wow. And but your I, foresight, your vision, no, but I said your vision I, was necessary right. for, for telling your sister and, the truth. But she didn't have to hear me, and that's okay. But I, the fact is, I said what I had to say, and I'm not going to just dumb myself down and act like this guy's not a fucking joke. Yeah. When, for what? Yeah. So I said the truth. And you know, in hind later, she was like, you know what, you were right. And I think that takes a bigger person to, to come say, back later yes. and say, you know what, sister, you were right. I really don't, now I gotta tell you the truth, I normally don't do edibles, but. I don't either. But, I, I, I can't really, I don't like that you can't control, like. We have the same problem. Yeah. There's not an, there's not an off button. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like when that shit come on, it just, it's, it's, it remains on. I like wasn't gonna say this, cause I was like, oh, Snoop. He's gonna, he's, he can, but no. no, it's like supposed to be like a quarter. That's my kryptonite. That's a quarter. No, yeah, I don't, I don't either. It's like uh, in your, in can your we blood. curse? Yeah, in your fucking blood. Yeah. It's like too much, too much. Um, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like my kryptonite, right? Like Superman has kryptonite. This is my kryptonite. Like uh, all forms of smoking, like, you know, dab, bone, however you can do it. That edible shit is the one I have no control over. Mm. How long have you been dreaming of being in a position to do the things that you're doing? Oh my God, since I was seven. Since I was on the South Side of Chicago, living with my grandma, watching a different world. Shout out to grandma. Come on grandma, may she rest. Uh, Five or six people on the couch. Okay. <laughs> Three in the living room, four out. Yeah, come on, I know grandma's Look, house. I was that cliche. My mom and myself, my, we lived in my grandmother's house. It was like, that's what it was. I didn't care, you know, no and, father. And big mama right. had y'all, it ain't nothing to it. She, got, a, she got us together. I heard that a particular doctor, my doctor is the cannabis coach on the set. Dr. Yes. Dina. Dr. Dina, we call her the cannabis consultant. Mm. Yeah, she goes to all the rehearsals, she goes to the meeting, she's taught the kids like, you know, the guy who's the grower and all of these different kind of things that go on in her store. The lingo. Yeah, yeah. She's a great person that you, I... You met her, didn't you? She's my ago? doctor. Ah. <clears throat> For my sickness. <laughs> <laughs> I might add. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. I love you. You yeah, played football as a kid? I was, I, mean, I was 10 years old, man. And you played with the boys? Yeah, only boys. Did yeah. they give you special treatment no. or was they trying to fuck you up? No, no special treatment. I need people to understand that we played. It wasn't <laughs> no, yeah, it wasn't no, they knew, they looked at me like a boy. Right, you know right. What I mean? They didn't, they didn't like, oh, she a girl, we gotta chill now. These was my bros, these was my homeboys. They ain't care about that. So does dabbing, I never dabbed, does dabbing feel like just so blazed? Dabbing stays there for a while. It, just, it was living with me. It was just, just sat in my chest and just like, okay, we're going to hang out here for a few days. Whew. Days? Yes. Oh, shit. No, I can't dab. Yeah, that's the high I wasn't looking for. I like to get high and go down. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yes. Regular and then come back up yeah. again. That was some shit where I was floating and had no, <laughs> no come down. I saw someone dab once at high times and it was scary. It was... Scary. I thought he was gonna blow his brains out. <laughs> Would you like a drink? <laughs> See, I don't drink. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> so it, it don't offend me if you say no. <laughs> you was on Saturday Night Live from 2009 to 2010. Mm-hmm. I love Saturday Night Live. Me too. Do you like the 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 thrill of it's right now and you can't mess up, or do you like the prepared, staged? I can do it over and over again. Um. I like both. Well, first of all, what I'll say is that I did mess up on SNL, like, almost right away. <laughs> that, that shit is hard not to mess up yeah, on. Yeah, I really messed up. Um, it was horribly embarrassing and totally weird. But I messed up, and I said fuck by mistake in my first what? episode. Yeah, I did. And what's Yay. weird... <laughs> and also, I'm like, who cares? I mean, it was a mistake, and everybody says that word. You was a square? I was totally a square, and I had no clue about anything. But that's good, because you look amazing. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not bullshitting, I'm telling you the truth. Am I lying, fellas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say this shit first. You look fine as a motherfucker right now on some real shit. Like, <laughs> you got your shit together, Kathy, like on some real, you know what I'm talking about? I've been watching you for years, and you got it together. <laughs> you hear me? Thank you. Are there things that you feel that speak to your voice right now that are on television that you really love watching? Absolutely. I mean, for me, Atlanta was something like... Gambino did I that. I mean, the, the, the first and second coming. I was like, this is... He kind of, I think, showed us 
what artistry looks like right. in a real way. Right. And um, that's why I kept saying, you know, the Emmy moment was phenomenal, but I think the biggest thing for me was to share that moment with him mm. is what meant the most to me. And I think, you know, he looked at me and I looked at him and I think we were very aware of our position in the industry and where we stand and I think and how important it is to be black artists in this time. What is your, your, your dream to do? What would you love to do that you haven't done yet? I guess uh, write and direct a movie. Mm. Maybe one that I'm in, maybe one that I'm not in. Both at different times. <laughs> what kind of movie would you write? I don't know. I guess uh, one of them maybe, I, I would like to do like different things. So like maybe one like indie that like, you know, is, is like meaningful and authentic and shit. And then, um, but then it's like, it's like more like critical acclaim, I guess I would go for. And so then, you definitely would have a sexy. You said yeah. critically acclaimed. Anytime anybody has had yeah. a critically acclaimed movie, they, they've encountered a sex scene, and that's what gave them the critical acclaim is that they were willing to have sex on screen. Yeah, it would, it's either like nudity or you pretend nudity you're... Nudity was in the 90s. This is 2016. You have, <laughs> Do you mean I have to have full-on sex? Yes, we need to see you're the, saying the I have moaning to. and the... the, the Fully. You know those shots. You know those, those sex shots. I try to cook a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to cook you some one time. What you like to eat? What do you like to cook? I, the only thing I can make is reservations. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that too. I'm, I'm speechless on that one. <laughs> that was cold blooded right there. Miss Bass, you back to play off on that one. <laughs> so quick. No, I could cook about anything, you know what I'm saying? It depends on if you want Italian, you want soul, you want gourmet, you want Asian, you want, you know, You Indian. cook all those different kinds of things? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. You gotta watch the show okay. and see what I'm saying. Well, uh, that's right. It's the show. Yeah. Are you really cooking that yeah, shit? Yeah, we really cook. Well, I I apologize. <laughs> it's I apologize. all good. It's all good. You all you can't judge a cookbook by its cover. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the comedian that you seen that inspired you? Um. I mean, growing up, I really loved Gilda Radner. Why did I know you was going to say that? Yeah, I did. I oh, mean, my everyone... mama, it was going to come out of my mouth <clears throat> before I was drinking that. Let me rewind that. <laughs> Were you inspired by Gilda Radner? <laughs> I was. You wasn't a cook? No. What? Yeah, I know. They didn't teach me. They taught my sisters. But I came along late in life, and they were sick of teaching people. Oh, they was like, I'm cook. tired. You're just going to have to figure this shit out. They got a Burger King down the street and Taco Bell over there. Figure it out. Yeah. Mm. Fast food? Sure. Fast forward to what? <laughs> <laughs> but I think for real critical acclaim, I would have to be, it would be like a raw sex scene with some sort of, like, I'm challenged. I would, you know what I mean? It like, would have to be with a woman first. Oh. And then she would bring a man in, and then it would okay. be like, oh my God, look at this sex scene. Look how... <laughs> and then it would cut away, and then you would be dreaming. And then it would be like, okay. It's I just, was... it's just, you're just describing porn, I think. <laughs> <laughs> porn that you would be writing and directing. <laughs> and depending on its distribution, I will let you know about my participation. <laughs> I heard you turned down a role on Empire. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And this was before the old record and everything. This is when I was. Because they want the you to be an R&B singer. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I would have been turned that down immediately. Um, I didn't turn it down right away. When I got the news, um, well, kind of you could say, but when I got the news, um, I was excited. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is Empire. This is when Empire was on fire. You know what I mean? Was, Everybody they, in the fucking world was watching. Everybody was talking about that. Right. You know what I mean? So I was automatically like, wow, they want more Empire, and. Um, I don't know, sometimes, I don't know, I just get a feeling like something, you know, something come over me and just be like, oh, something not right. You know what I mean? Like, not saying that ain't right, mm -hmm. but something about this for you isn't right. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I remember calling my team up, my, my manager, and told him, I said, I don't want to do it. And he was like, well, I just got off the phone with you. You was excited or that? I said, I don't want to do it. He like, why? Wow. I don't want to do it. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, yo, this is, this is, this one put me in a, in another lane. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Another another atmosphere of something that, you know, was taken away from what I was originally doing. Wow. And that was being, you know, this MC yeah. that I always wanted to be as a kid. So I just was like, I ain't gonna jump into acting and people ain't gonna take me serious like right. that. Right, right. 
I think, you know, diversity is important because we live in a very diverse world. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the TV we watch will reflect that. And I think a big part of it is, you know, it's not enough just to have us in front of the camera, but we gotta be behind the camera as well. And because I'm a writer, you know, I really wanna help support other writers of color who should be in these rooms. Because when you don't involve people that look like us in the process, in the creative process, that's when it becomes exploitation. <laughs> when you don't involve people that look like us in the process, in the creative process, that's when it becomes exploitation. And so for me, I think we have to be a part of the stories that we're telling that, about people that look like us.